Insert a script into server script service and name it leader stats. Write this. Next, insert a screen guy into starter guy and name it inventory guy. Then insert a frame into the inventory guy and name it inventory frame. Now, customize the frame however you want. Now insert a frame into the inventory frame and change this. Make sure to scale it like this. Make sure to name it items frame. All right. Next, insert a text button into the items frame, which we just created. Customize it however you want, since this will be the item button. Name it item button. Now insert a UI grid layout into the items frame. So now when we duplicate the item button, it will position itself in a grid. You can also customize the UI grid layout however you want. Insert another frame into the inventory frame and resize it. This will be the equip items frame. Also, make sure to name this frame equip frame. Now, insert another text label into the equip frame and name it title. Now, insert a text button into the Equip frame and name it Quip Button. Insert a folder into Replicated Storage and name it Remotes. In the Remotes folder, insert a remote event and name it Inventory Event. Now, insert a script into Server Script Service and name it Inventory Script.
Next, insert a local script into the inventory frame. Rename the local script to inventory local script. Make the inventory frame invisible. Insert a button into the inventory guy and name it Open Inventory. Customize it. Now insert a local script into the Open Inventory button. Write this. Now, go into the toolbox and insert a sword, or any other item. All right now, insert a proximity prompt into the item's handle. Insert a script into the handle. Go into the inventory script and change this. Now, make the inventory frame visible. Go into the equip frame and change the name of item name to title. Insert a script into the Equip button. Let's test it out now.
there is an error, but it works.